Gamma Haven series is all about you and your characters. I encourage players to find their lane, play their part, and really immerse themselves into their role. Two players I would consider role models of just that are Gordon Gale, also known as Tempest, and the demolition man, Jacob Bastion. These two characters have been major protagonists thus far, merely because of their involvement with one of the most prevalent plot points during the first two seasons. Their actions made them into literally the last line of defense for the people of Haven. That's how they tied themselves to the plot. Individually, they both sacrificed so much and lost countless friends, family, and allies. And even still, they united with what they had to overcome global genocide. Jacob, the leader of Haven Guard, an army of brave citizens fighting for those who cannot, and Tempest, headmaster of the Gate Center, a haven for G-types on the bleeding edge of G-type development. This is for you both and anyone in a struggle to protect the innocent. We declare that the 4th of July is a holiday in Haven City called Heroes Day. We see a group of children dressed up as soldiers substituting sticks for guns surrounding an effigy of a blonde haired, blue eyed man crudely made with trash and other debris in the middle of a street deep in Haven's Shade District. Super genius. <laughs> One of the boys wearing a camouflaged Haven's Guard bandana on his head approaches the effigy carrying a steel tube with a green fuse and places it under the mock villain's makeshift Dizzy Whiz Fizz can armor, while the others begin to hastily take cover behind a stack of pallets and barrels. <laughs> a boy wearing a fedora shouts from behind his spot of cover, Okay! The boy with the bandana then pinches the fuse between index finger and thumb and takes in a deep breath. For a second, his eyes flash orange as he shouts, For the people, everything! Oh, oh. The fuse smokes and sparkles as he quickly retreats to join the others behind their cover. The effigy is blown into bits as cans and other debris become smoking projectiles. Stray cats run for their lives in panic. Dogs bark and howl, and car alarms go off in the distance. The children all look at the smoking crater in the middle of the street, and then to each other in shock, and the words that follow are all the same. Holy shit! Most of them run over to the small smoking crater to get a better look, while a few pick up and compare pieces of charred debris and mangled cans. Their fun is quickly interrupted by an old man's shouting originating from a window four stories up. <laughs> <laughs> they laugh and quickly scatter. We see a different side of the city, even if for just today. Children playing in the streets unafraid, dressed up as the heroes they idolize. People helping and looking out for each other and standing up to the scumbags that usually plague Haven. Today, there was something to celebrate for even in this ugly city. A ray of hope for which the people were unaccustomed to but grateful for. Today is a day of hope and courage because heroes have emerged. With the absence of the Nagamanto crime family who only sought to exploit them and the destruction of Knox who nearly eradicated them. For the people, there was indeed hope. Hope of progression. Hope of ascension in hope of perhaps one day, a beautiful city. Today is a day for the heroes. This canon entry was written by a new partner of mine who chose to remain anonymous but will go by the archivist. More on the archivist and the team that I want to build later. I encourage all of you to head to your character profiles on the Gamma Haven campaign page on worldanvil.com and write a journal entry about what your character is doing on Hero Day. In closing, I just want to wish you all, and your friends and family, a happy 4th of July and Heroes Day. For the peoples and dragons, everything.